We're with Christopher Cameron here in South Stormont, Ontario. Chris, congratulations on throwing your name into the hat for council. Oh, thank you, Jamie. So what was it that inspired or triggered you to decide to finally take the plunge? Um, I was asked by Tammy Hart months ago, uh, probably six months ago or so, and um, she, she wanted to form a kind of a group or uh, how would you put it, um, collective for the, for the council. And uh, I was kind of questioning if I should or not. And when I asked her, I said, I explained to her, should I, should I agree to, no, I shouldn't agree to everything you, you want in council. I said, I have to consider the constituents in mind. And that's when, well, the relationship kind of soured. And I've spent a number of months contemplating upon jumping into the ring, considering um, seems politics is pretty messy in South Stormont, so I was questioning about it and I decided, you know what, in the best interest of my community and my children that live within the community, as well as other people's kids within the community, that maybe we should have some stability in council. Now you've been politically active, this is your first time running for office, but you were involved with the protest about the bilingual um, hiring practices at the Cornwall Community Hospital. Yes. How does that play into your, your candidacy, or if it does? It, it taught me a lot about the political process. Of course, there's always more to learn. Um, it, it's an issue aside from jumping into council. But um, if, at many levels have people been asking me to, that I should be running into politics because of it. Because most people who are activists want some change jumping into politics. Now, been better. we've seen this whole thing explode from the integrity commissioner and Deputy Mayor Hart, um, the controversy that surrounded Deputy Mayor Hart and the South Stormont News' inception and birth. Do you think that this is going to impact the election at all? Uh, I like to put this forward that I really respect Tammy for her um, tenacity. She's very, when she jumps on something, she goes full forth. Unfortunately, sometimes the actions leads to the consequences such as what happened with the commissioner. Um, but I do find when I go to council, that there, there's a tension, underlying tension, palpable tension, which is, is not very congruent for trying to get uh, a good working um, council. And what's your vision for the future of South Stormont? What do, you, what do you hope to see for the community down the road? I would like to see a good working uh, council, first of all without feel, have seen the tension that I do see, uh, and I'm sure many others have seen, I would like to see um, the population growth in the community. I'd like to see better job opportunities. Um, I'd like to advocate to get uh, more services for elderly. Um, keep taxes, even though Cornwall, even though South Stormont is very relatively good in taxes, because I believe there hasn't been a tax rate since 2009, I'd like to maintain it at that because everybody's struggling with the day-to-day -day bills and to increase taxes is, is, is frustrating to watch when if you don't see the, the, the services that accompany it. Do, do you think that the current council under Mayor McGillis has done a, a good job in the last term or two? I do. I, I really do believe that they have because they haven't raised taxes since 2009 from what I understand. And it, it, there's been much improvement but my only issue is that this seems in the past six to eight months a very, very, it's almost negative mm -hmm. tension within the council. And I'd like to see that change. All right. And what, what should the public know about Chris Cameron other than that you're a nurse, your wife is a nurse, you're a family person here in South Stormont, two kids, a dog. Two kids, dog. <laughs> the whole gamut, it seems. Uh, I'm committed. I'm loyal. Um, and I want change. I want to see an improvement in my council and I want to see the betterment of my community of which my family's been here for 230 years. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.